Chicago. I was known as quite a boy. True story. True story. True story. Down in Alabama. They call me the man of joy. Still do. Cause I'm a rambling man. Don't give your heart to any old rambling man. Been out to California. Right. Uh, and down to New Orleans. Yeah. Been to California. There ain't too much I haven't seen. We had big plans last year. We are gonna go to Texas in a big old fancy studio and make a record inside the lines of an industry standard that seemed like the next logical step for our band. As this plan began to fall apart, I kinda did too. Forced to move me and my family out of our house in the middle of winter, adjusting to being back on the road after COVID, it had been a hell of a year. I started sharing this second batch of songs with Parker that I had been working on. They lived in a private section of my world because I didn't hear them as these big songs. I just kind of heard them with acoustic instruments. They were kind of an homage to my roots and how the band started, but the lyrics were really deep in the self-work that was forcing itself on me, whether I wanted it or not. Parker and I decided we would move into our friend's secluded cabin in the Beartooths for a week and record them. No plan, just start the damn process. Since we made the last record, we played Red Rocks and did some shows last summer. And then this fall, we toured for seven weeks, which I think is the longest tour we've ever done straight through. Um, so that was rad and sold more tickets than we've ever sold. It was a very weird transition. I feel like going from being home and with my family all the time and then going back onto the road. That was very weird. And through that weird uh, reintroduction to society, I wrote a bunch of songs, um, mainly about how much I love my wife, but um, a lot of songs also about processing getting older, man, and moving into the next phase of my life. And it's been a weird transition. So writing my way through that. Biggest changes in the last year, we added Parker to the band. Um, he plays a shitload of instruments, so that's made the live show good. He's pretty shit company, but he, uh, he plays well. So we got that going for us. <laughs> Just kidding, Parker's my best friend, and I love him dearly. I made a bunch of records in my life. Like I'm a career musician or something, dude. Like okay. maybe. Okay. <laughs> who told you? Uh, who told you? About music? Hunter S. Thompson, dude. Ever heard of him? He wrote some books about stuff. Music. Do you want me to try this, or do you want to just tell me about how much music you've listened to over your goddamn Dude. Life? <laughs> I've, I've smoked way more pots in my life than you, and I've listened to a lot more music. Yeah, I just fit in. Like, what Drew did with uh, All Right Now was, like, just sort of open this whole, literally, like, this spot on the stage for me, where it, I just started kind of playing pedal steel, just started, I had to got a banjo as a gift. It was all these, these sort of coincidences, if you want to call them that, that started, kept happening, that sort of just led to me having the spot and, and where I'm at musically, like I can relate to everyone in the band because of what I've done and fill the need that I know needs to be there as well so we can get into 
interesting creative moments and I just felt like when I joined the band it was a really <clears throat> easy fit. Like we'd been doing it forever together. It's been really great, just yeah, just being me and Parker. I mean, there's obviously stuff that like Ben will play some drums on it. You know, every one of the guys is talented in their own ways, but doing it this way is limiting, but in a cool way. Like we know what our capabilities are, so it kind of goes like, okay, well, we can only do so much to these songs. Like we only brought one amp, you know, and like this idea of not spending four fucking hours to find a tone and just be like, no, nah, man, let's just record the song and we'll just make parts as we play it. And that's the thing that's way different than this record. Usually you come into a thing, everyone has their part, and it's just tracking that part. Most of this was kind of made on the spot. You know, I brought a mandolin and fiddled around and we put that on a song. Parker figured out like every banjo part as we played the song. I feel like half the songs she just heard for the first time. It was like, yeah, changes the dynamic a lot. And the dynamic is simple, you know? It's like keep as few cooks in the kitchen as possible and, you know, not record a part 800 times. And just be like, no man, it just fucking is what it is and that it's organic and there's no pressure. I'm just making music because I want to do it. It's fun to do, not because I have to. Then I want to like, I don't know, I need to, I want to. You just sit back and enjoy the magic. No, I know, but I've got to make sure that your shit is... Sounds pretty good to me. Maybe turn the vocal. Wait, are you meaning like you're going to do it live and never do it again? I'm going to do it live and that's what will be on the record part of your internet part. Ooh, oh, we're doing it live. I don't have to make a new record. I'm, I'm doing it because I have three written. And this is the one that feels like the best idea right now feels like they felt like the universe conspired to make the other record not happen right now and that this was the one that was supposed to be made again there's nothing at stake here dude you know i feel like when everyone feels this pressure to perform it has a different energy around it this has just been fun work but fun working with drew is really easy he trusts me, I trust him. And in this process, he lets me be me. So we're trying to create this album that I think is steeped in a lot of musical tradition. But at the same time, it's like, oh, we could do this. And then here's this sound or where, wherever it might go. And we're both willing to um, ebb and flow with the music and bring, bring the history as well as put the creativity, like be Parker in the music, be Drew in the music. And I think that's been the cool experience of being able to access everything that we have and lay it out on the table to create art together in this fashion. See, the theme of the album is getting back to the roots of just fucking making art so you don't disintegrate. I feel like as you grow as a band, the pressure to do things a certain way changes. Like every release has to be this epic thing that was worked on for 18 months with a label and producers and all that. And that's all great too, if that's the ride. But for me, this record um, started with Parker showing me an instrumental song that he had made and me writing words to it and then realizing how fun it would be to make a record with Parker because we've been friends for over 10 years and every time we're supposed to play music together we end up just talking shit. And um, I just started working on this very different batch of songs that were all honest, 
singer-songwriter things where I was just writing and letting whatever I was feeling come out. And I wanted to give them the feel that they have to me, which is this woody, organic home. It feels like being home. It feels like sitting at home writing songs, and I wanted to make something that reflected that vibe. So we're making a record where I live. And we were at uh, our dear friend Phil, who we've known for over 10 years, family cabin. And we're only 10 minutes from my house. Measured by the seconds when you first to breathe me in. Running down the line, I don't know where to begin. I still am smitten by the way. You know, man, I, I think a, most, a really important distinction I know that there's probably a lot of old fans that felt that all right now was this huge departure. It didn't feel like a departure to me. I've always just been a songwriter and, uh, and a folk musician. And whatever I'm listening to at any given time is gonna influence what I'm making. But I feel like all right now was where I, I figured out who I am as a songwriter. Where I feel like there's no influences on how I write. I'm not affiliated with any groups or like scenes anymore. I'm kind of just doing my own thing. And I feel like I found who I am as a songwriter. And that this this new shit is just like an extension of that. Like I feel like I'm actually a, the singer and songwriter that I was meant to be. And that just kind of happened. So that feels really good. And that's been probably the hugest change for me is just trusting myself and art and this whole thing that is set song. Time it seems to double, yeah, whenever I'm alone with you. Being in this band, sort of seeing this other world of music, my hopes are that because this music is honest and has depth and has a message and has a lot of emotion and feeling, it feels really beautiful and, and something I would listen to, I automatically think like, oh, everyone's going to want to hear this. And I would... I would like to see people listen to it and appreciate it and see what that does for the, for Drew's audience and the Satsang audience. Get a, a, another, it just sort of widens the, the relationship that Drew's offering to people that are wanting to listen to it. you fell in love with, well, he fell into a grave. And the man that crawled back out was every good me you saved. I should be dead and gone. Yeah, man, keep riding with me, because I just, feel like I just turned into a, a, a good musician. Everything before was practice for what I've become right now. Just keep riding with me, man. It's gonna be cool, pretty sure. paradise And we might find ourselves In the fight of our lives but I will bloody knuckles or lay flowers on the floor Whatever we run into, yeah, whatever it calls for It's us who laid the path and only meant for us to walk And so I'll walk with you Oh yeah, I'll walk Yeah, I'll walk with you I found myself in awe of these songs as they were transpiring. The most organic building of sounds I had ever been a part of. Love songs, deep wound songs, journal entries that were forming themselves into living, breathing entities right in front of us. I truly believe this record has the potential to touch and heal a lot of people, and your support to me is beyond words. It means the world to this band and to my family, more than I could ever express. I hope you pre-order the album. If not, I hope you come to a show. If not, I hope you listen to the record. Whatever it is, it's all love. God bless every single one of you. Thank you.
I'm done, dude. Not even putting in my two weeks. I quit. Uh, fuck Applebee's. Fuck the two for twenties, dude. Fuck the soccer dads that come in here and get drunk at three on Sundays too, dude. I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Get Phil in here. Dude. <laughs> You're doing great, man. I think I'm just done. Think I'm out of sauce. I think you, were, <laughs> you had too many ideas coming in. Yeah, the welcome to my world, dude. Was fully open. Welcome to my world. A little spaghetti, dude. The Italian food cracks me open, dude. Like some people drink ayahuasca. Not me, dude. What if, hey, they, what if, spaghetti. <laughs> what if you, you and Phil went into that bathroom and did that thing together? I don't know how much use I'd be, dude. 